What's the difference between PFAS and Teflon? Okay, so PFAS are an entire like huge class of chemicals known as per and polyfluoral alkyl substances, okay? And Teflon is a type of PFAS. So there's over 14,000 different types of PFAS. So it's basically bonding carbon, a carbon atom and a fluorine atom. It is those bonds between the carbon and the fluorine, right? Those atoms that make them extremely like difficult to break down in the environment. It's very difficult to break those bonds. There's all these types of PFAS that are used as precursors in order to make fluoropolymers. Now, Teflon is a fluoropolymer. So we have now proven that these groups of PFAS are directly linked to cancer and all of the terrible like symptoms that I talk about. And fluoropolymers, well, that's more up for debate. So Teflon is technically polyfluoral tetraethylene, and it's so hard when it is fully formed that it's known to be really stable, and it's so stable that it can actually crack off and create little particles. And that's why it can become a little plastic-esque particle that can end up, you can end up ingesting it, and certainly like millions will come off of like every scratch on your Teflon pan, okay? So Teflon is a fluoropolymer, this type that will crumble off, but it is made with other PFAS, right? Now, these other types of PFAS, these are super toxic just in like their raw form, and fluoropolymers are very inert and stable, right, in this form. However, DuPont and 3M always said that this is so stable, those carcinogenic PFAS are never going to come out of the Teflon. There have now been quite a few studies showing that other forms of Teflon, such as Teflon dental floss, right, that will increase the amount of PFAS, the really carcinogenic kinds, in people's bodies. And I like to mention this at every opportunity I can. There has never been a study, never been a study looking at if someone uses a Teflon pan, if it increases the amount of PFAS in people's bodies. They have found that using Teflon pans increases the amount of Teflon microplastics in people's bodies, for sure, but there has never been a study ever um, and one of the most heavily like regulated and like debated like known carcinogenic chemicals ever, right? PFAS, um, and their main consumer application is in cooking pans. No one has ever looked to see whether using a Teflon cooking pan um, will increase the amount of PFAS in someone's body. And it is very intentional that that study doesn't exist. I think that's extremely intentional.